Welcome back. So many of us grew to love Mary Berry on the Great British Baking Show, and now she has a new version of her classic cookbook, Mary Berry's Baking Bible, and James Longman got to bake one of those recipes for the author herself. Take a look. I reckon these are a real show-off. Dame Mary Berry, the queen of cakes, is British baking royalty. Her latest cookbook, an update of her famous cooking Bible for US audiences. Mary, here it is. I'm chuffed to bits about this. Yeah? Wonderful to be in America. What is the book all about? It's my baking Bible. It's full of all the cakes and cookies that I've enjoyed, some new ones too, and a lot of instructions, so you get success every time. She's famous for her lemon drizzle cake and Victoria sponge, both British classics, with this book using American measurements. But there are also new tasty treats. The new recipes, uh, there's one called a mirror cake, and honestly, you can nearly see your face in the icing, and it's absolutely delicious. Berry has been traveling to the US for years, but one trip didn't go quite to plan. I read that on one occasion you were arrested at the US border. I was doing a demonstration a few hours after I landed. So because I like things to go smoothly, I weighed up the ingredients for some of my cakes that I was making into little bags and uh, sealed them. So you had little bags of, of white flour. powder? Little bags of white flour and baking powder and things. and. Uh, they were threatening to send me back because they thought I was bringing in drugs. How could they have possibly thought that? Exactly, but it was white powder. <laughs> and eventually, I was let through. And I couldn't pass up the chance to bake one of Mary's signatures myself. So you haven't done very much baking? Very little. In fact, the second time I've ever baked in my life was to make these cakes for you. You made those? I've made these, yeah. Can I show you? Wow! This is your chocolate brownie sheet cake, and it's got the apricot jam. Now, wait a minute, let's have a look. Look, that is a perfect rise, and you must have made these not long ago Yesterday. because it is beautifully soft. Do you think look I might have a taste? Shall I give you a fork? I'm just going to nip it <laughs> off the side. It is huge. Um, it's a beautiful rise. The icing has got a bit of a shine to it. You've even done little chocolate curls. Here we go. I, I, I'm not going to take the icing because it'll go all over my nose. Please don't. Mmm. There's a deep chocolate flavour, beautiful texture. And, gosh, I think you've done very well. I'm going to lick my fingers Please because do. I'm not sparing. I can't, but honestly, you've made my day. Her advice for budding bakers to keep calm in the kitchen? I think the calmness, the zen. It's a matter of organisation. It's no good rushing into something. It's the preparation. And if you're organised and you've got everything ready and you've got time, you then relax. Mm. James Longman for Good Morning America. Oh, we, that looked delicious, uh, by the I way. I wish we had a sample here. We, had, we, <laughs> we <laughs> have a chicken, chicken cobbler. cobbler. We should have some of that. <laughs> by the way, Mary Berry's Baking Bible is out now, thanks to James Longman. And you can scan the QR code on your screen right now to check out the recipes on goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.